Today we're going to see how muscles work. There are three kinds of muscle in the body. Cardiac muscle is found only in your heart, and its big features are endurance and consistency. Skeletal muscle is a type of muscle that we can see and feel. When a bodybuilder works out to increase muscle mass, skeletal muscle is what is being exercised. Smooth muscle is found in your digestive system, blood vessels, bladder, airways, and in females, the uterus. Smooth muscle has the ability to stretch and maintain tension for long periods of time. A muscle is a bundle of many cells called fibers or myocytes. You can think of muscle fibers as long cylinders, and compared to the other cells in your body, muscle fibers are quite big. A typical cell in your body is about 10 microns in diameter, not something you can see with the naked eye. In comparison, a strand of hair is about 100 microns in diameter, roughly the same diameter as a muscle fiber. Each muscle fiber contains myofibrils, which are very long chains of sarcomeres. Look at the long myofibril coming out of the myocyte in the figure on the left. The repeating sections of sarcomeres appear under the microscope as dark and light bands. You can see the dark and light bands in the figure on the top right and a diagram of a sarcomere on the bottom. Sarcomeres are composed of long fibrous proteins that slide past each other when the muscles contract. The fibrous proteins are made of thick and thin filaments. Each thick filament is surrounded by six thin filaments. The thick and thin filaments do the actual work of a muscle. Thick filaments are made of a protein called myosin. Thin filaments are made of a protein called actin. The thin filaments look like two strands of pearls twisted around each other. The basic action of any muscle is contraction. For example, when you think about moving your arm using your bicep muscle, your brain sends a signal down a nerve cell telling your bicep muscle to contract. On this slide, we see the nerves attached to the muscle fibers. During contraction, the myosin thick filaments grab onto the actin thin filaments by forming cross bridges. The thick filaments pull the thin filaments past them, making the sarcomere shorter. In the picture on the left, we can see that the muscle is relaxed and the sarcomeres are long. In the picture on the right, we can see the muscle is contracted and the sarcomeres have shortened. We're going to look at this in a video a little bit more closely on a cellular level. The video will mention some bands and things that we have not discussed. Don't worry about that. We're not learning those now but watch very closely how the actin and myosin filaments interact. In a relaxed muscle, actin and myosin myofilaments lie side by side, and the H zones and I band are at maximum width. During contraction, the actin and myosin myofilaments interact. The actins are pulled toward the center of each myosin myofilament. As a result, the sarcomeres shorten. In the fully contracted muscle, the ends of the actin myofilaments overlap, the H zones disappear, and the I band becomes very narrow. In a relaxed muscle, actin and today. myosin myofilaments Copy down these side vocabulary side, words and the into H your science journal. And I band you are at maximum write the width. definitions for homework. During contraction, the actin I and myosin put a copy of everything interact. I said in this presentation on that blog. So if you want to print those out, have this note. Or if As you want to go to the blog the and review anything that was said that maybe you weren't sure about, the fully there will also be some links the to the other information. Overlap. Um, the H zones and disappear, and the I band becomes very.